All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and we are talking about routing information protocol. That's RIP. It's one of the oldest distance vector protocols we know about. We're having a party. Let's go. All right, welcome back. We are talking RIP and not rest in peace, although psh, probably is rest in peace. Routing information protocol, boom. All right, so it's the oldest distance vector protocol around. So it's kind of one of the first routing protocols, distance vector that I mentioned. Hop count, that's how it uses, uh, that's what it uses for its routing metric. 15 hops maximum to keep a loop-free topology. It also uses the split horizon rule. What is the split horizon rule? Well, it means if I learn a route through an interface, I'm not gonna advertise it back out that same interface because that could also create routing loops. So when I learn a network route, 192.168.10 through my ethernet interface, I will advertise that on all the other interfaces of my router, but I won't advertise it out the path that I learned it. Um, so that is the split horizon rule. RIP one versus RIP v2. So when RIP first came out version one, it was a classful routing protocol. Well, what does that mean? Well, in IP addressing, we have classes, but uh, the core ones are A, B, and C. And so A, class A, means that it, like a 10 address space. If we're talking about RFC 1918, that's internal addressing space. If we're talking about 10 dot x dot x dot x dot x, uh, RIP version one being classful would say, well, class A address space is the mask is 255.0.0.0. So it would not support variable link subnet mask. So what does that mean? Well, if I had 10.5.4, 10.6.2, 10.6.3, those would all be summarized under one route called 10.0.0.0, which doesn't give you a lot of flexibility in a routing protocol because it says everything 10 go that way. So it doesn't give you a lot of flexibility. So that's what classful means and that's how RIP1 operates. So they came around with RIP came around with RIP version 2 which was classless. It ignored the class system. 10.x is a class A, class B, 172.16 is a class B and 192.168.1. dot is a class C. It ignored all that and said I'll honor your subnet mask of the interface and we will pass that along in the routing protocol uh, update so that all of that, that routing information can be exposed to the routing protocol and so you can get more accurate routes. Because if you summarize, it's less information, less detailed information that it knows, so maybe sometimes those routes aren't quite as effective. RIP is a routing protocol. We, we did a, a video on routing protocols which talks about what they do, but essentially it takes the networks, uh, all the networks that are connected to this particular router or segment, Pull, pulls them all together into an advertisement. It shares that with the rest of the routing table or the, the routing protocol passes those routes along to other routers in the infrastructure. So it automates the provisioning of networks so you don't have to build a bunch of static routes. That's really it. If you're confused about what a routing protocol is, you can watch a video that we did called Routing Protocols. And if there's more that you'd love to know about RIP, you should probably buy a book. It's an old protocol. It's in our past. It's rest in peace. Thanks for watching. If there's anything I said in this video that you'd like more of, leave a comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.